Actually, let us have the beautiful ambience of this Elite 4 Victory Road Pokemon League music while I am. Um, explain the shit show I've just entered here. <laughs> As you may have seen in the previous video, if not, I'll just recap. I went, um, did a Saturday recording and um, got a bit carried away and went through Victory Road. That was nearly a disaster as uh, my team's not equipped for this. And I know that half of you won't have even made it three seconds in, so. I was going to say you're going to make it 50 seconds in, but anyway. That's his recoup. The elite farm on the strongest changing barriers. Before fighting them, you should know what you're up against. Mole Man uses ground type, Elias uses ghost type, Arabella uses fairy types, and Penny uses dragon types. They don't have many shared weaknesses, so prepare properly by bringing Pokemon that know a good variety of moves. Now, that's alright, whatever you say. Some members of the Elite Four like to battle two on two. If you do not have the TM for Protect, now is a good time to purchase it from the market in Fallshore City. Each member of the Elite Four likes to set up certain conditions in the field before battle. First, there's Mole Man. He likes to set up a vicious sandstorm. The kind of sandstorm that does more damage than a regular sandstorm. This kind of sandstorm also boosts ground type Pokemon's special defense and won't go away if you try to get rid of it. Next, there's Elias. When you fight him, all ghost type Pokemon will take half damage and be immune to entry hazards when they're at full HP. Safeguard and Substitute will also fail unless used by a ghost type. Birds come Arabella. 
her room is filled with a misty terrain. Not only that, but any fairy type sent out will have their lowest defensive stat boosted. Lastly comes Penny. There's a rainbow in her room that raises the chance of a secondary move effect used by dragon types. Make sure you're prepared for these conditions before you fight them. So I'm going to suggest that's a hell of a lot of bullshit I need to fight, but I think this is the same. Even on vanilla difficulty, the Elite Four get stronger as you do. Don't be caught off guard and prepare... and be prepared for intense fights. They're getting all the others right now. What I believe that one is telling us is that no matter how strong I get, they will match it. I believe. I can't even tell you if I'm on vanilla difficulty or not. I'm not going to change anything. Dex now. Yeah, whatever. Ugh. Yeah, we're on vanilla. So, let's cut all the settings because I'm not changing anything. So, we are on vanilla difficulty, which is meant to be easy. Uh, Victory Road is fun. With this. Annoying ice puzzle right here. I was almost tempted to look it up, but I decided not to, as it would have made me look like an idiot. Because at first, when I first got to it, I actually thought every single option was literally impossible and you had to spend the money but I then discovered or rather in my next day examination because I did do it yesterday as I was going to actually be prepared to record hours of this trying to figure out this ice puzzle we figured it out Going with a clear head. Oh, no, no items. So, I gotta say, this place is grand. Oh, and his mission is basically beating the entirety of the game right now. Not from start to finish, but beating this entire Elite Four with just one Pokemon. Because apparently, it's bad to have many friends. Sure. Bad that I have many friends and good that I am making this. So. Right now, we can count a fair. We can, let's just look at our team right now because I don't really want to swap anything out at the moment. So let's just view our team. Look at them. Gigalith's trailing behind, but. I have a feeling Giggly ain't gonna last much during this. Altaria and Sylveon could counter the dragon. Remember. Send out Sylveon to Princess, Altaria there. Mega Revolve Altaria while using Dragon Dance to increase attack and speed. While they try to probably use a move to take out Altaria, it'll whiff because Altaria is now a fairy type. Altaria then has the boost and then we use Dragon Claw and hope that's enough. While Sylveon sets up a reflect and then uses Moon Blast and then does something. So let's just say, for example, those two can actually take out this dragon type. The fairy type scares me because I legitimately right now have no counter to it. Altaria is literally useless. 
Gigalith's the only one I can probably rely on, but I gave it explosion. And that's no good. But that's I'm only assuming this battle, these battles, on the basis that they're going to be potential double battles. Potential. I don't even know what Pokemon they've got. I don't even know what I'm up against. I don't even know if there's a specific... I'm going to suggest that if it's anything like any other Pokemon game, it's going to... It's probably going to send them out in order. So... They mentioned Moleman first, so we're going to have Ground-type first, which isn't a bad thing, but there are some dangerous Ground-type users. Altai can negate the sandstorm, but I have a horrible feeling that's probably going to be countered as well. But I don't know how, though, that's the thing. I don't know how. Send you out on the ferry, your defense staff, sta uh, defense staff gets boosted. Set up a reflect. Music may actually be the one that comes in clutch here, because music's the one that we set up our defences with. And we get the most defence boosts in the entire game. Because of the light clay, we get eight turns of each. So if I use reflect, we get eight turns of reflect. Sends light screen. But might actually survive quite much as well. Much. Your speed needs to be increased, but I don't have any speed increases. I'm gonna pause for a minute. Yeah, the pause on speed ain't gonna be enough. The only problem with Princess is her defences. But her oh, princess's strategy purely lies on sing hitting. If I can put them to sleep, then she can then start setting up echo and voices. I would use wake up slap, but uh, there's something that needs to go down now. Let's actually see what I can teach. Princess. Because I'm not giving up on this team. Oh, so I found Dragon Claw, which I taught to Altaria. So now we have a physical dragon move, which Dragon Dance boosts. Okay, let's see. Toxic Staller. I don't know, it won't work. I've not. And they might use full restores. I would use Princess to set up a light screen. Could get rid of Wake Up Slap and use Return, but I do not recall if Wake Up Slap came naturally or if I taught Princess Wake Up Slap. But Return would not only do stab, but the more friendly she is with me, the more damage it does. We need Sludge Bomb. Oh man. Place Light Scoop. With Torment. Because I could I could probably easily reteach moves, so I'm not worried about that. If I teach Mustic Torment. They cannot use the same move twice, so they've got to use different moves. I 
but as I said, some may challenge me two on two, so that would only work in a two and two back fight. Ideally, I'd want Princess Power Lap poisoned, but. Steel Wing. Altaria isn't even gonna survive the fairies, even when she mega evolves. He mega evolves. Oh dear, this isn't. Could use flash. Flash, yeah. Get rid of light screen. Teach me to stick flash. And then for the ghost, remove the reflect and then teach light screen instead of reflect. Because I have a feeling this ghost type moves they're going to use, this person's going to use, I have no idea. Could, yes, 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 this could be a viable strategy. I'm gonna suggest getting rid of Reflect Light Screen first, because if there's anything I can hear the leap for, Mole Man's gonna be first. Maybe I should actually walk in and see what it's like first. See if it is actually Mole Man. Okay, so we're gonna teach Neo Stick Flash. Okay. That's not. Not all ground types are heavy Pokemon though, that's the problem. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't just throw me straight into a battle, so I'm going to put this on flash. Hang on a minute, hang on. Did I get both reflect and light screen? Yes, 16 and 33. Okay. I'm gonna leave it on flash. Now, once you pass through the doorway behind me, your Pokemon League challenge will begin. And once begun, there is no turning back until you have cleared the challenge. Have you killed your Pokemon? Have you purchased essential items? If so, you may begin your challenge. Whatever more suits you. Demonstrate the power that brought you here. For honour and glory. At least that's what I'm assuming it's at last. I believe I... Yes, I did. My wallet is empty. Ah, oh, look at that day. It's been over a year. We've done nine missions, done all the badges, we've caught a crap ton of Pokemon. Wish us luck. Ah. Oh. I can go in and out and just challenge him whichever order I want. Look at short Arabella, you're the fair. Look at that's dragon fairy. So this must mean this is ghost. Ghost in the round. Ah, okay.
So here's what I'm gonna do. Oh yes, I am deciding I am going to save in front of each one. Because I ain't changing anything. And this is the only thing I will change if need be. So as I said, I'm gonna teach Mew Stick Lash over light screen. We will take on the ground. This may not... I can always reteach the light screen. Alright, let's go. Let's take on Mole Man. Who dares enter the domain of the Mole Man? Surface Dweller. For years, my fellow Mole people and I have lived below ground with only ground-type Pokémon and the Earth itself. In that world without sunlight, we tempered our spirits and grew strong, and yet... You try to establish dominance over us as your ancestors did so many years ago. Very well, learn the wrath of the mole people on the very earth. Ooh, he is a mole. Mole man. Looks good to you. And fly gun. Setable Reflect, Altaria, you're going to Mega Revolve and Dragon Dance. I don't think I'm going to win this, but this is worth a try. Okay, this sandstorm is going to provide a pop. Maybe this. Okay, I don't think. Well, oh. bad. How else are you? Go strong! Sky attack. That's a two-turn move now. Okay. Gliscor! Okay. Meaning Guy Skull's gonna need an earthquake, which is gonna take Crow Cry down at once. Oh no, you're taking out music. Okay. Hey, uh, Polio. Use acid armor. Now, Tavia might be able to survive one more bout. And with the defense increase, Vaporeon will survive. It can't use water moves against Vaporeon because Vaporeon Oh dear, I 
shitter. Okay. I bet you had... Well... Actually looking at this... The sandstorm's gonna be the only thing that provides a problem. Actually, to be fair, we need to take an ice cube. Um, not necessarily, actually. Hoping the reflect wears away. We're going for it again. You take Sylvia on, that's fine. All you're doing is making me stronger. My question is, why does my surface affect my boat but your muddy water does? This is looking dicey. Clever boy. The only person that affects is me. Luckily, very poor everyone has a thing after them. But that does prove they do not have the healing. Vaporeon survives, no matter what. How the hell are we giving Pegmore? Doesn't do much to me, does it? More people never give in. Feel our last surface dweller. Can I use this one more time? Interesting, we have a winner. Vaporeon is now uber defensive. I don't think anything Quagsai can do can hurt Vaporeon. Don't worry about that, we can whittle you down. Roar a bee. Senseless sacrifice. 
Can go. Because I don't think Quaxi has anything to deal with. Thingy. So I'm going to go and hopefully finish the battle off. Well, the flash strategy didn't really work out, but we beat them all, man. Ghosts. Now, what did they say about ghosts? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> um, ghost, ghost, ghost. How do we effectively deal with ghosts? I suppose the only thing I could say is Princess could come in clutch here. But I think now that they're level 65, Okay, let's put everything back to what it was. So, ghosts take half damage, so got to... So, I'll tell you, if I get a plus six in Dragon Dance, that might actually come in clutch. Because that's plus six damage. So what's our tower's attack stat? Got decent attack. This it's actually quite decent. This stat. So Altaria may actually come in clutch here. Do I want to? Well, we're gonna have to use Dragon Dance. Yet. Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance anyway. So that's. Mm. I don't think Sylvian's gonna do much good here. Well, actually no bite. Ah, Skiggly. Unless they've got Levitate. This ain't going to do much unless it's... They've got leg rotate, Giggler's not going to do much. And I can't really use it as a sacrificial Pokemon to heal up because I'm trying to know items in battle and if I have to use items, my integrity is gone. <laughs> Music wouldn't last five minutes. But before I do anything, let's just give Music back light screen. The 
flash strategy will not work against the ghosts. But that being said, I don't think Sylveon needs to keep reflect. So let's give Sylveon light speed instead of reflect. Okay. So, so far, this... I don't even know if you have double battle. If they're all double battles, then I can plan in that. Hmm. And I'm not going to psychic ahead or pause, check all them out and then see who is and who isn't a double battle. Okay, for ghosts. Princess might come good here. Mainly because it's a normal type and ghosts can't hit normal. However, Echoed Voice will not hit. Wake Up Slap will not hit. Sing will hit. Play Rough will hit. But if they've got something like a Gengar, that might Mega Evolve. God damn it. Uh, or Bayonet, Mega Evolve. I could teach. Princess Thief? No. I want to try to keep its move set because Echoed Voice gets stronger each time. That's her signature move. I just like the idea of her slapping her opponents awake and then putting them to sleep. So I don't really want to change her move set. Play Rough may be the only. That may be, and no guarantee here, that may be the only line of defense I've got against the dragon. Okay. Vaporeon, when I used the acid armor, yeah, I actually raised my thing and I do not believe under any circumstances that Quagsire had any move to counter Vaporeon because it kept using muddy water and it kept healing up Vaporeon. Did find it offensive how it kept heat, it didn't hit Excadrill, but whatever. Gigalith, you have explosion missed. I don't know, why have you got two missing? Okay, no, I don't care. I might need. I feel like I don't have Sandstorm. Sandstorm could do some chip damage. Oh. Well. Well, from what I understand, if I'd kept, what's it called? I've forgotten. Stealth Rock. That wouldn't have done any chip damage as the ghosts are at full health, they do not take any entry hazards. <sighs> so, you're going to go at the bottom because I do not believe you're going to do anything for this thing. I could use Mew Stick to set up defenses and just try to do whatever chip damage I can. Light screen might come off good. Hi, uh, for now princess you're gonna have to go into the bottom row because I do not believe you can do anything. You're going back up top because uh, we're gonna have to set up defenses. But you didn't attack and you stick. We might get out good here. I believe your only hope is to dragon dance six times. Well, that's even if we're having a double battle. Ugh. Well, let's give it a shot.
Right, 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 right. Not got much time for any talky talky, so do what I can. Max Ether, let's get this out of the way. We need to restore Surf, and that's all I know. Because I did have this whole 20 minute speech where I was talking, and then I forgot I wasn't even recording, so. Yeah, okay. So, first things first. Is there anything here? Special defense. Eee, hang on. This could actually be useful if I give this to the use stick. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give this to music. Put the assault vest on, you'll be protected. Let's just try this. Hi there, friend. Oh no, I'm not a lost kid. I'm the fairy princess Arabella. I'm one of the Elite Four. Daddy used to be a member, but then he got fired. So I volunteered and now I'm in the Elite Four. It's great. I get given lots of money to battle trainers, even if I have to share some with Daddy. And I get to invite people to my tea parties when I win. Okay, friend, let's battle and I'm going to show you how a fairy princess does it. Touche. She is cute. Fortunately, cute's not going to do much. So... Okay, so now that... Ow. <laughs> I didn't actually think that it would be like that. Well, Mustic might be able to survive. Come on, give me another stat drop. Oh. I am... Uh, Zuma will... What's... Okay, no. Yes, actually. Risky manoeuvre done here, but I have no... I don't know what else to do. I know this fucker here, because I've used this fucker before. And I have drawn out the fairy gem. Okay, I can live with that. Sylveon. I'm going to go silent here and let's hope my strategy pays off.
Oh, that was a nail biter, so... I honestly thought I wasn't going to win that. But anyway... Yeah, it's down to Gigliff again. Dragon, how am I gonna fight this? The fact that they said some use double battles and the last two have done singular, I have a feeling this one might be double battle. So here's how I'm gonna plan it, just assuming it's double battle. I'm going to Mega Retop either Mega Evolve Altaria but use Dragon Dance. Because then at that point, no matter what they throw out, Dragon cannot hit Altaria. So Let's do this again. I'll say it again. Let's do, let's do this one other time. Hi, I'm Penny. What? This thing I'm wearing? These are clothes. They're my patented Gooza bottoms. I've always been a huge fan of Dragon type Pokemon. So I love looking just like them. There isn't anything I don't know about them, and there isn't a single piece of dragon merchandise I haven't bought. Dragons are the best, with their tails and their wings and their fire breathing. A filthy casual like you doesn't have a chance of them. I'll prove it to you right now. Wow. Okay, you can do this. Yeah. Do a double battle. We win this. We win this all day every day. Altaria's gonna make a hole, but then it's gonna use Dragon Dance. Anything they try to use against Altaria, Dragon Move wise, misses because it didn't affect attack fairy types. Now affecting Altaria. Stone Edge won't really do much against Altaria. Speed and attack. We might be able to one-shot this now. Might be able to. I can't guarantee this, but we should be able to. Okay, we might end up whipping this. Oh, I could have just attacked it straight from the beginning. I don't believe that's enough HP to somehow. But you're just putting Fairy Move away from Knockout. And you're going to Mega Evolve. Here's what we're going to do we're just going to focus on one Pokemon. So we can deal with Sceptile. There we go. And we easily win. Not even that worried. <laughs> Not even a loss. Betty! What? But I had the best Pokemon type in the world ever. Oh, fine. I guess that was pretty impressive. Looks like my dragons on ice tend to get stronger. Wow, we. Even I lost. And now you get to be a forest champion. Time for you to take the center door right outside. As for me, I'm heading off to Dragon Con. You want me to pick you up anything while I'm there? No? Ah, see yourself. More merch for me. 
Okay, I've got a problem with this. This seems a bit too easy. I'm going to have to send out Giggly first. I'll put Princess up here. I'll tell you, it's going to be our defence, our last line. Followed by Sylvia. Music will defend us when we need it. This is going to be a tricky battle. So, I actually don't even know if it is going to be a battle. We save. We save again. Let's just hold it. Ah, of course, Jax, I finally managed to catch up with Stacey. I'm feeling down after Alpha got away from me, but catching up to you kept me right up again. Yeah, why am I here? Well, funny story, actually it was Grandpa Arthur who used to be the champion of Boris. But ever since he retired, the champion's title has been open for the taking. The whole time, Grandpa Arthur had been training me as his replacement by having me fight against threats to the region. I'm sure that's why Professor Log had to run those errands too. He and Grandpa always did have a bit of a rivalry. But now that a worthy challenge has appeared, someone I respect, this is going to be a fun battle. Come to think of it, we always battle side by side, right? So I think that's the best battle for the champion seat is with two Pokemon side by side. That's right, we're making this double battle. Are you ready? I put my best team together just for this. Oh dear. I can put Golurk to sleep. If I can put Golurk to sleep, we can take out Star Raptor. Okay, we can work with this. Put Golurk to sleep. Had we put it to sleep before, we would have had the strength and HP to do this. That's fine. Oh, this is going to be a fun bout. Come on. Thank you. Put it to sleep. No. Go work stays asleep. We are going to focus our efforts on go work. about that. Well, that works. Good night, princess. Finally, a fair fight. Right now, it might not be advantageous to make the roll. Hmm. 
might not be. This might not even work out very well for me. I can dance again. Get greedy. Plus two. Decent star back to have like plus one. to mega evolve because right now he's not going to expect me to mega evolve see if we can take out something that could have done good if it had knocked it out Gastrodon doesn't attack me, stick. We can win. He's gonna Mega Evolve Salamans. Luckily, Reflex still going on. We're not. Yeah, it's a lot different than I thought it would. We're taking out Salamance. We're not taking out Salamance. Of a sucking. We're sucking Altair. Zones asleep, Magna Zone, maybe fast. Nope, that's not good. That being said, oh no. this is what we're down to. That ain't gonna do much. Do it. Luckily we had a light speed up. Sorry about Sylveon, but we need to sacrifice. Oh.
Let's do this, we can still come out on top. It's taking out Sylveon. Sylveon wasn't making that. Oh my god. They fire ended it. We defeated Jax. Wow. Looks like Professor Log picked a worthy challenger after all. But no, seriously, congrats. You are now the new champion of Boris. You got 32,000. Oh my god. So, that's that. I see, I guess it makes sense after all. I always knew you were the stronger trainer out of the both of us, even after I got a head start over you. You know, before we began our fight, I kept thinking about all the times I rushed in and then you helped bail me out. Even at Crystal Peak, when, my, when I thought I prepared my Pokemon well enough, we wouldn't have won without you. And even though we won, I got complacent with Alcov got away. That's when I realised, even if my Pokemon grew stronger, what use is it if I don't grow stronger with them? I guess that's the difference that ended up deciding the winner. So I'm going to get stronger, not just my Pokemon, me. And when I do, let's finish this again. I'll take your crown with my own two hands, but for now, let's see you officially recognise as Ferraris as new champion. Come on, the register's just ahead, follow me. Ha ha! <laughs> you did it, you did it. This room is a hall of fame. It's been a long time since I last entered this room. Grandpa Arthur brought me here when I was younger, but I haven't been since. Anyway, Stacey, welcome to the hall of fame. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Just place your Pokemon on it and you'll be good to go. And once again, Stacey, congratulations. Ah, oh, and here's our end game team. A team I'm betting nobody saw coming. Happy Puffy Bird, my game hold. Vanilla difficulty. Ah. Oh. Oh man. The dead man. The fairy princess. She's bouncing for joy. Penny. Dragon cosplayer. And Jax. Our second hand rival. Let's go home! And I'm going to let the natural music play for a bit while I do my own thing, so... Till next time! <laughs>